So uh, in this part, uh, what we're going to discuss is basically, uh, you know, hygiene is a big issue, okay, uh, in a country, and not only in our country, actually, you know, I would say even in the US, a lot of time we have to teach mothers, you know, like how to safely handle mother, baby's food, and you know how how to kind of do uh, kind of take care of personal hygiene. Okay, so this is a universal phenomenon, and it we it's important to understand. So in this uh, kind of uh, part, uh, we have discussed how to. Uh, kind of uh, you know have a proper good personal hygiene and how to safely prepare and store this food okay so if you have access to fridge of course it's it's much uh, easier but you know uh, just go through this tutorial very uh, kind of uh, attentively because you will know you know what advice to give to mothers when they're ready to kind of uh, transition you know uh, to start complementary feeding in the food uh, in, in baby's diet, okay. So, uh, thank you so much and enjoy. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on personal hygiene needed for handling baby food. In this tutorial, we will learn about personal hygiene, guidelines to maintain it while preparing and feeding baby food. Let's understand why personal hygiene is important for handling baby food. Here, baby food means nutritious, home-cooked, complementary food. Such food must be fed to a 6 to 24 months old baby along with breastfeeding. At this age, the immune system of babies is not as developed as that of adults. They are vulnerable to catching infections and foodborne illnesses easily. If cleanliness is not observed, then complementary food may harm the baby. It may introduce infections which can cause diarrhea, vomiting, cold and cough. Therefore, baby food must be hygienically prepared, cooked, stored and fed. Let's learn how to maintain personal hygiene needed for handling baby food. Baby food preparation, serving and storage areas should be always kept clean. Never cough, sneeze, smoke, chew gum, spit or eat in these areas. Also, do not change a baby's nappy in these areas. Always wear clean clothing. Tie back and cover long hair properly. Keep fingernails short so they are easy to clean. Do not wear nail polish because it can chip into the food. Avoid wearing jewellery especially on the hands and fingers. Keep clothes and personal items away from where food is prepared or stored. Do not let food and utensils touch any cuts or wounds on the body. Completely cover all cuts and wounds with an unused clean cloth or bandages. Do not let the cloth or bandages get wet. Change the cover on the wounds regularly, especially before touching the food. Do not touch the food if feeling unwell. Never cough or sneeze over baby food. Washing hands is the easiest, most effective way to stop the spread of disease. It reduces the chance of contaminating food with bacteria. To wash hands properly, use soap and warm water. Rub hands to lather soap on the back of the hands, under nails and between fingers. Do this for at least 10 to 15 seconds. 
Dry hands immediately after washing them. Always dry them with an unused clean cloth. It is important to make sure that the hands are completely dry. Never use a regular towel, kitchen napkin or your clothes to dry hands. Teach children to wash their hands. Take them to the bathroom or the place to wash hands. Sing a short song of about 10 to 15 seconds while they wash their hands. It will encourage children to rub and lather hands for at least 10 to 15 seconds. Set a good example. Wash hands together. While washing hands with children, tell them why it is important. Along with the technique, washing hands at the right time is also important. Wash and dry hands thoroughly before touching, preparing or feeding baby food. Wash and dry them again frequently during food preparation. Sometimes, you may take a break while preparing or feeding baby food. Always wash hands after such breaks and then continue. After preparing food, wash them again. Hand washing is also necessary after handling raw food and garbage. It must be done after going to the toilet, blowing your nose and smoking. After touching animals, a sick child or a sick person, wash hands again. Also, wash them after touching ears, nose, mouth or other parts of the body. Always wash hands after checking or changing a baby's nappy. These personal hygiene guidelines must be followed while handling baby food. Additionally, there are other equally important baby food safety guidelines. They must be followed during preparation, feeding and storage of baby food. They are discussed in detail in another tutorial of the same series. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on safe preparation, serving and storage of baby food. In this tutorial, we will learn about baby food safety guidelines for its preparation, serving and storage. Let us begin. Safe preparation of baby food is very important. It protects the baby from foodborne infections. The first step in preparing food safely is personal hygiene. Personal hygiene is explained in detail in another tutorial of the same series. Next step is cleaning. Clean the entire food preparation area, utensils and chopping boards. Use warm soapy water to clean them. Always clean them before and after use. Also, clean them after handling raw food and before contact with other foods. Utensils used for baby food preparation should be scrubbed well. They should be washed well with boiling water. They should be air dried or wiped with an unused clean cloth. They must always be kept covered. All the food ingredients should be cleaned properly. Wash fresh fruits and vegetables thoroughly with clean water. Wash them before peeling and cutting. This will remove contaminants, parasites and pesticides. Use separate cutting boards for non-vegetarian and vegetarian foods. Also, use different utensils and chopping boards for raw food and cooked food. This will prevent the transfer of germs from raw food and meat to other foods. 
change and wash any cloth used in the kitchen at regular intervals. Baby food must be cooked properly to destroy harmful bacteria. Therefore, before serving, ensure that baby food is completely cooked. Check if the food is cooked by tasting it. Also, look for any uncooked food signs. One such sign is visible pink flesh or juice inside or outside meat. These were the basic safety guidelines to be followed while preparing baby food. Now, let's discuss safety guidelines to be followed when serving food to a baby. First, thoroughly wash the baby bibs and feeding utensils. Clean the eating area and the baby's chair or sitting area with a wet cloth. Dry them completely before use. Mother's and baby's hands should be washed clean before feeding the baby. Babies eating food with their fingers must wash their hands before eating. Test the temperature of the food before feeding the baby. It can be tested by placing a small quantity of food on the feeder's wrist. Sometimes, small hidden spots in the food may have higher temperature. Therefore, food must also be stirred well. Feeding the baby may take time. Hence, the cup or plate from which the baby is fed should be kept covered. Covering it properly will protect the baby food from dust and flies. While feeding a baby, the risk of choking is very high. To prevent choking, make sure the baby is sitting upright. The baby should not walk or run while eating. Never leave the baby unattended while eating. Encourage the baby to eat slowly and chew the food well. Avoid giving hard foods that may cause the baby to choke. Whole nuts and raw vegetable pieces are examples of such foods. Avoid bottle feeding. Now, let's discuss safe storage of baby food. First and foremost, freshly cooked food is the best for babies. Always throw away any uneaten leftover food in the baby's dish. Leftover food in the dish has been in contact with the baby's saliva. It will contain bacteria. These bacteria will multiply rapidly when food is stored for reuse. After cooking, avoid touching the food with your hands. Keep the food in a covered container protected from dust and flies. Always store dry and fresh ingredients away from each other. Also, keep raw and cooked food in separate places. Cooked food should not be stored for more than 1 to 2 hours in a hot climate. If a fridge is available, baby food can be stored in it. The fridge must be in good running condition. It must be cleaned at regular intervals. Temperature of 5 degrees Celsius or below should be maintained to keep the food fresh. Protect stored drinking water from dust, hands and dippers. These guidelines must be followed for preparing, storing and feeding baby food. Nutritious food when fed hygienically will make a baby strong. Whereas, if it is fed in an unhygienic manner, it may make a baby sick. Hence, take precautions to ensure that the food does not harm the baby at all. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining.